Satirical Sarah. So you made a video just for me on your opinion on how the protest in Ottawa was an occupation. The courts of our land trump your opinion. Let's break it down a little. I know you don't watch my videos, but... Or you would have already watched one that explains this. Step one, the Ottawa Municipal Court ruled that it wasn't an occupation. It was a lawful protest under our charter rights. And same court um, made an injunction enforcing an existing bylaw regarding noise during the nighttime hours. I assume every municipality has such a bylaw aimed at construction. You're supposed to cease it. Whatever hours they pick, 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. is common. There's a court ruling that it was not an occupation. Again, you should check the dictionary definition of occupation. Where else are we? Oh, we could move to the ongoing federal court trial of Chris Tamara Crisson. Barber and Tamara Lich, where the judge admonished the Crown on more than one occasion not to use the term occupation. It's a court of law. You have to stick to using legal terminology. She admonished the Crown not to use that mistaken and inflammatory term. You read between the lines, uh, that's left to the propaganda department, the mainstream media, and people such as yourself who use the term occupation mistakenly. The recent federal court ruling that Trudeau's enactment of the Emergencies Act was unjustified and unneeded violates the Charter, Section 2, Bracket B and 8. I would suggest you read the court ruling or go to the Canadian Constitution Foundation where they break down the legal lease for us common folk. Your opinion doesn't trump the courts, Sarah, as much as you want to believe it was an occupation, it was not. You might want to note also that there were police liaison officers there 24-7 a day. There were no blockages of emergency vehicles. The people who went there, not just the truckers, anyone who went there assumed they would have to park outside of the downtown. Locations were arranged for the trucks and for people to park. And the police said, no, there's no reason you can't park there as long as you don't block the emergency lanes. Not that that has much to do with your mistaken conception that it was an occupation. Do some homework. You're kind of coming looking foolish here. I don't know. I know you're trying to make me look foolish, but the law trumps opinion for now.